have really bad social anxiety so even starting a channel and things like that that's a big step for me if you're gonna be rude and nasty then just let the world see you be rude and nasty that's just what it is because i love getting feedback i love hearing people's opinions try to teach something new copyright claims things like that they're not fun i do not in any way mean let people run over you let people bully you let people talk any kind of way to you you don't have to put up with that like you just know to check back because that's when this person drops it is based on your personality if you're gonna gain that subscriber or not and the thing lost can be found again except for time waste a vision without action is merely a dream what's good you guys i'm like tj this is my this still and today we are about to get into some very much needed do's and don'ts for starting a youtube channel that i wish i knew before i started my channel because look if you've been on this journey then you know a little bit of what i've been through but definitely i'm making this video just so that nobody makes the same mistakes that I made and nobody goes through what I went through and just so that you know everything up front and you know you use everything to your um advantage so I have 10 do's and don'ts I will be looking at my phone just so I can um kind of get an idea of where I'm at and stuff like that but I have 10 do's and 10 don'ts of starting a YouTube channel um I worked hard when it came to thinking of this list I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget anything and it wasn't just like oh Lex think of 10 things that you can't do I, I sat and I thought to the fullest ex extent of things that you shouldn't do and I believe based off of don'ts I, mean, I was just like okay now for do's I will make sure to squeeze in 10 as well so definitely I'm really just you know going by experience and things like that so this could definitely help you or the next person that's planning to start a channel and it can even help you now if you already have a channel but you're not seeing um any change or anything like that so definitely let's jump right into it first off we're gonna start with do's and i'm gonna say there's no particular um level of importance i'm just gonna say them out as i have them listed because um i don't feel like going through and rearranging first to last and things like that so definitely everything in this video is going to be very essential very important for when you're looking to start your channel or looking to grow your channel but yeah there's no particular order that you have to follow or you know there's nothing that is just worse or anything than the other so let's jump right into these do's okay so number one you don't have to have a niche okay you know like i like i say social media is getting bigger than ever new things come into play every day and so everything is kind of similar um and what i mean by that is you see with tiktok they tell you you need to have a niche you see with instagram you need to have an if you want to blow up they tell you you need to have a niche that is not always the case so when it comes to this niche idea for YouTube, they do try to say have a niche because people are going to want to know um, what it is that you do. And, you know, if you are all over the place, they're not going to be interested. That is not true. For one, you have to bring your personality to the table when it comes to that. So let's debunk that right there. Um, so you don't have to have an, a particular niche because for me, if I had to choose, I would say my niche is is business i love talking about business i started my business um at the end of last year um it's something that just interests me right now i'm working on business credit and it just i just want to learn about i want to be the jack of all trades like i said in a previous video i want to get into real estate um i want to really get my hands dirty and in investing all i just want to be the guru of it all so I definitely love talking about business but if you look on my channel i have playlists and that's one thing that youtube they give you uh, an option to have playlists so that you can have you know things your channel pretty much organized so like i was saying i have playlists and um even though i said my niche is business i have a playlist for business i have a playlist i have a playlist for um like life advice um i have a playlist for which this will probably go into life advice. I have a playlist for um, vlogs. I have a playlist for, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but for sure I have a playlist for vlogs, business, life advice, 
things like that so you see i don't just stick to business if i just stuck to business there would be no need for a playlist really because you you know that if you subscribe to me and i didn't have a playlist my whole channel would be about business so definitely in my opinion you do not have to have a niche to really make it on youtube instagram social media if you if you're wanting to expand and get bigger you don't have to have a niche um even though people try to tell you that's what you have to do you do not have to have a niche because if you look at some of these youtubers who have hundreds of thousands of subscribers already um you can see their very first video may be something simple, like like I like business or something, you know. And then with them having um, have grown so much and have, having hundreds of thousands of followers or subscribers, you'd see that their channel has drifted into pranks and vlogs, and you know they probably no longer talk about business. So it's like you don't have to have a niche. Like some of these big YouTubers, I see they have the most outrageous titles, and it's like, man, that seems childish, but you know it works for them so um yeah when you see these people say have a niche you can really just look at these big youtubers and you'll find out quick you really don't need a niche because most of the time it's based on your personality if a person is going to subscribe or not honestly truly that's really just to sum it up again it is based on your personality if you're gonna gain that subscriber or not. You're, they have to fall in love with your personality. They don't care um, necessarily what you're talking about. You know, I could be explain, explaining this video worse than I am now, honey. I could just be, you know, just really monotone and just kinda, you know, not expressing myself, but I could be saying all the right things and I would, I probably would not gain subscribers just because of the way that I, you know, deliver the message. So yeah, so now we're gonna move on to number two. You don't have to have a set schedule. I know they have don't in the title, but I'm not telling you what not to do. I'm telling you what you don't have to do and what you can do. So yeah, as far as you don't have to have a set schedule, you guys know that I say I um, drop videos every Wednesday and every Saturday. Well, a lot of people will say don't do that because if you don't drop, you know. I see a lot of people say, don't tell your subscribers when you're gonna drop because what if you feel tired or don't want to do it my my take on that is i'm still gonna continue to tell my subscribers that i drop every wednesday and saturday even if i miss a day like i'm on vacation right now as you can see i'm in my robe and you can see the background is completely different um i didn't drop on saturday because of course i was out you know enjoying myself so i understand where they're coming from with um, you could be tired and stuff, so don't say when you're gonna drop. But definitely for me, even if I don't drop on Saturday or on a Wednesday, my subscribers still know to come back. You know, they know to come back. If I don't drop on Wednesday, they know to come back Saturday and a video is gonna be there. So I would recommend, you know, that's just, I can't even recommend what you do. You, it's either or. You can say when you're gonna drop or you could choose to leave it out. Like on my joint channel, Sibs for Life, um we drop every friday uh we just started it so we're trying to figure out the kinks and all of that but in the videos we don't say that we drop every friday um so as far as trying to figure out the kinks i'm trying to figure out if we should do two days a week like i do uh rent that spill or if we should just keep it you know on fridays so as of right now we don't say when we drop but for sure I say when I drop on Rent That Spill because, like I said, my subscribers will know, okay, if she's not dropping Wednesday, she'll be back Saturday. And if she doesn't drop Saturday, she'll be, they know to check back Wednesday. Like, you just know to check back because that's when this person drops. So, yeah, it just, with that, like I said, even though it has don't in it, do what you want to do. That's what it's telling you to do what you want to do. So if you want to have a set schedule, that is completely fine. But if you want to drop on random days of the week, that is completely fine too. Um, just make sure to tell your subscribers to turn on your post notifications. So yeah, that is do number two. Let's move on to number three. You need to engage with people. And um I lack with that one myself a little bit because the thing with engaging with people, um, okay, so there's there's just two 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 parts of this. So as far as YouTube, I lack with that a little bit because 
my rent that spill all the stuff is on my um macbook and as you guys know i have two two laptops and three no, four phones so all of my rent that spill is on my um macbook and so um like sits for life all of that is on my phone it's i have my the channel pulled up on my macbook as well but i'm actually signed in on this phone that i carry around with me every day and so when i get new comments on rent that spill it's on my mac i'm signed in on my macbook so i, I don't see them like i only really get on uh rent that spills channel on wednesdays and saturdays when i'm ready or um um the day before like tuesday and friday when i'm uploading new videos so yeah sometimes i don't see comments or anything until then but definitely you want to make it a goal to make sure that you interact with people so the other side of that is social media i do have an instagram page for rent that spill and I always want, I always make sure to, um, you know, post on there. If someone says anything to me on there, I make sure to interact. Try to make sure that I get posts in. Um, even on my main page, I try to make sure to post about Rant That Spill. If anybody asks me anything about the channel, you know, I just try to make sure that it's, it's visible. Like it's not just um, a, a robot running the page. Um, running the channel so yeah try to make sure that you interact with people for sure number four promote yourself so going into promoting yourself you for sure want to do that like myself like i said i promote on my main um instagram i promote on my snapchat i promote on my facebook and i also like i said made a separate instagram account for rent that spill alone just so like you know i post three times um you know how it it, it has when you click on someone's page you, it's in posts of three uh it's in rows of three so um i always make sure that when i drop a video i post the thumbnail and then the next day i post um a selfie of from the video or from uh when i made the video just giving a little look and then the day after i always make sure to post a clip of the video just to just so that people can get an idea of what it's about so yeah i promote on its own little page and like i said i promote on all my other social media pages so you definitely want to make sure you promote yourself because i see a lot of people have channels like i said um in previous videos i have a lot of friends that have channels you know and a lot of people do not promote their self and that's fine because youtube is like a lot of people look at it like uh i'm not worried about blowing up on youtube it's not my life and things like that you know like they're just not it is kind of it's kind of hard so you know some people when it when it doesn't just you know take off it's just like yeah this is not a priority this isn't important because it, it like i said it is hard so um a lot of people don't promote themselves and they kind of just post and go and that's not good because if you don't promote yourself and your subscribers don't have your post notifications on then um nobody's gonna know your videos uploaded you know and so you shouldn't be um ashamed embarrassed anything like that um i don't know if i've said before but i have really bad social anxiety so even starting a channel and things like that that's a big step for me because i hate feeling judged and so even with that i still make sure to post and you know make sure everybody know hey i have a channel like you at least gonna know you gonna know about you gonna know something i have a channel i have a video that just dropped i have new merch coming out you're gonna know something um so yeah make sure you guys promote yourself to the fullest because um you think like of course that's automatically a do but a lot of people that i actually um actually know in real life they don't promote their channels and things like that and um as if you don't if it's not a priority for you then that's perfectly fine but definitely if you're gonna uh post regularly you should definitely promote regularly as well um a lot of people actually have interesting things to say they just you know like i said it's really hard to break out into youtube because um thousands of people make youtube accounts today so you know it's really hard to break out when everybody's dropping and like youtube can only um push out your content so much so yeah make sure you guys promote to the fullest number five 
And number five is something that I am lagging with, but switch up your scenery. Switch up your scenery. Um, I definitely wanted to, and I, I almost kicked myself because I, I told myself before I even left um, the house for this mini vacay, I said, um, I'm going to record a video or two um, whenever we, you know, leave. This isn't even the first destination. If you guys uh, see the vlog, this isn't even the first destination that we were in. I ended up not getting um, a video inside of the house. And so you know like i took even like coming here a few minutes ago before starting this when i told myself like uh maybe i should just wait until we get home tomorrow and then record this video but i had to fight through it because that would just be so stupid of me to tell tell you guys change your scenery and still try to go home and make a video and so like as you guys can see i struggle with that because um i recorded my office a lot besides the vlogs I'm really only in my office and so like that's all you guys see so after a while it can get tiring if you don't change your scenery even if it's just like go to a different color wall that's fine but for me um I really only record in front of my desk in front of um one of my backdrops or in front of my motivational wall so uh, definitely change your scenery because people will get tired of seeing you just sit in one spot in the same spot every video talking in front of the camera so at the least try to change up your scenery if you don't have anything exciting going on and you like from like me i just i like to give advice and stuff like that if you just are doing something like that definitely try to change up your scenery just like this simple as this so yeah that's it for number five try to change your scenery for sure you don't have to put on a fake personality or anything like that but for sure change it the least you could do is change your scenery so yeah number six this is a very important do like for sure for sure you guys this is an important do because this is where i messed up a lot get familiar with youtube studio now youtube studio the reasons why you have to get familiar with YouTube Studio is because um, I'm going to insert it, the link, and I'm also going to insert the screenshot. But the video from when I got my copyright claim, it really goes into detail about that. But when I um, did the whole um, take professional looking pictures for Instagram and stuff like that, uh, I got the copyright claim, right? And so all of that could have been avoided if I had went through YouTube Studio when I started my channel. So going through YouTube Studio, YouTube Studio has um, it has music, background music for you to use that's copyright free. And that's what I got copyrighted for um, background music. So definitely check it out because it has copyright free music. Um, you can also if you don't have a MacBook, if you don't have like iMovie and stuff, they also have the little uh, features in there where you can edit your YouTube videos in there in youtube studio so you can cut and you know do uh, how i you know edit my videos you see my videos are edited once they're um uploaded they have that inside of youtube studio so you don't even have to go out and buy a macbook like i did but i mean i love my little macbook so it's cool they also have like i said the playlist you can create playlists customize your channel uh you know you can make yourself a little bio so with like my bio i have um my social media accounts um my website all that kind of stuff just so um you know you just want to promote yourself to the fullest for sure so yeah um how i just said i was going to insert the link um it was the little flag that you saw up if you scroll back a little bit i'd say make sure you use those because it's something card it's something card and then make sure you insert in screens because that's where you know at the end of your video or wherever you want to put it it will show the little subscribe button where people can just click and uh, subscribe to your channel you can add a video you can add your playlist so that people can just you know so you can encourage people to continue um, rocking with you so yeah definitely get familiar with YouTube studio just so you know all those kinds of things because um, you also will see your analytics in there and everything like that. So you'll know how much, how many watch hours you have because, you know, you need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to become in their creator program. So that's where you start getting paid. So you definitely want to make sure that you 
go all through YouTube Studio, get familiar with that just so that you know all of that, where you check your comments and reply to people, your uh, likes and dislikes on like everything. You know, you can go to each individual video, but um, YouTube Studio is going to tell you all of the stuff that you need to know. They're going to give you tips and stuff on how to grow your channel and things like that. So, and then, and, you know, you can find all the rules and things like that. So definitely check out YouTube Studio for sure. Okay, number seven. This one is a little bit hard, but it is what it is. You have to be open to criticism. And by being open to criticism, I do not in any way mean let people run over you, let people bully you, let people talk any kind of way to you. You don't have to put up with that, but definitely be open to criticism. So me, for instance, um, I see so many people go through things. Like if you watched my how to deal with negativity and... Um, um, opinions criticism things like that that video if you watch that video then you definitely saw me say like i when people say harsh things to me and stuff like that um i either just let it roll off and ignore it or i you know respond back with like criticism um if it's just negative but like if it's actual criticism then you know i just uh if you go through the ppp loan video i definitely respond like in a way of you know i don't know i it's it's kind of like it's kind of like being the bigger person in a way like i'll let people know like if they gave me criticism but was also rude about it i'll like you know thank them for giving me criticism like because um i do love all feedback but i'll also you know just take the the high road and just not even let the negativity get to me like it you know um the ppp video a lot of people were commenting and you could definitely tell that they didn't watch the full video and it's like the people who didn't watch the full video were the first ones to come and comment immediately and say she doesn't know what she's talking about and then continue to comment exactly what I said at the end or towards the middle of the video. And it's like, I just correct them like, um, I already said this, but uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for attempting to watch it, but I already said this. Um, yeah, it, it, it does get frustrating because like I said in the um, negativity and opinion video, a lot of people do feel like they do not care what's going on. They don't care how to make somebody feel. They don't care of getting all the facts. They're just gonna immediately comment their opinion. And that's what a lot of people did. They just immediately, um, you know, watched the first few seconds, few minutes, I don't know, of my video and immediately commented and said she doesn't know what she's talking about and proceeded to say things like, everybody's gonna jail, everybody, this is fraud, she she doesn't know anything. And it's like, I said all of that. And so it, it, it's, it got frustrating and it's still frustrating because the video is still trending and, you know, every day somebody comments and says, that's not right, they're going to jail. And it's like, to sum it up, I said they're going to jail. So, um, yeah, I'm still dealing with that video, but you just have to, like I said, be open to criticism. Um, like I said in the negativity video, I try not to delete comments. Like, I haven't deleted comments yet. And I want to try not to because, like, if you're going to be rude and nasty, then just let the world see you be rude and nasty. That's just what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to delete comments because you're not going to hurt my feelings. Like, um... If anything, if you're commenting rude, nasty things without getting facts, or if you're just commenting rude, nasty things just to be rude and nasty, then um, I'm really just going to let it sit there because off that to me, I'm just going to assume that like you're uneducated, you have a... Uh, you have no manners, things like that. So I'm not even like, I'm not going to respond to it. I'm not going to delete it. It is what it is. Like, we're all just going to see ignorance. That's, that's just what that is. So um, definitely, I'd say be open to criticism. But don't, you don't have to like me. Like I said, I just let the comments stay there. A lot of people don't. A lot of people uh, for sure say that when someone comments something negative, they delete it. By all means, do it. Because if I get something that's too negative, who knows, I may delete it. Like, if it's something that, um, you know, if someone lies or something like that, you know, you just never know. Because a lot of people, they do treat people bad online that they don't know just because they can. So, um, if you get something that's too harsh, by all means, delete it. Or defend yourself. Either one. You know, put them in their place. Check them back. But if you're just getting... Um, 
constructive criticism that's going to help you in the long run like a lot of people were coming like um jails are more profitable so don't say that they're not going to take people they're not uh rounding pe everybody up immediately because jails are what make um make them a lot of money so i did appreciate someone commenting that you know it's just it's all about um constructive criticism feedback things like that but yeah you don't have to take anybody's negativity but be open to constructive criticism it'll help you in the long run um number eight you definitely want to be yourself like i said earlier people are going to subscribe to you based off of your personality how you deliver things how you carry yourself not necessarily just how you're acting like you know i could i could be jumping up and down right now on this couch on this little chair making this video and uh it's not gonna hook everybody in but um definitely i could just be sitting here talking like this saying that you know um things like that so uh it's definitely you just gotta be yourself this is me this is myself um if you watch my videos i do crack jokes sometimes like i said it's sips for life i really let my personality out and i really i'm really funny because me and my sister we kind of just play around a lot but my channel i like to like i said i like to give advice um i like to talk about business um my vlogs i do like to you know it, this you you're out more i'm not just sitting here trying to like have a one-on-one -on -one with you so um definitely be yourself um your personality is what's gonna get people hooked not basic not what you're necessarily doing but your personality is what's gonna get people hooked so for sure be yourself don't try to fake and be like everybody else or anything like that because making it till you make it that's really uh it's just not a good thing to do so yeah just be yourself because um you can't look at what the um million subscriber youtuber is doing and think okay that's gonna work for me personally me i hate when someone imitates somebody else it's just it makes my skin crawl it's just uh, it makes me want to throw up it's just not even it's not acceptable so um definitely you should want to be yourself anyway because um like i said your personality is what's going to grow you and if you're not growing organically then like just imagine imitating someone to grow your channel and it actually works and then that's just how you have to be for from then on why would you want that so yeah moving on number nine um you definitely want to plan out content and that goes a few ways like i said plan out content um i have these written down already they've been written down for a while now I had them all mapped out but that's just for a single video so planning out content also means um make a list like get out a pen and paper or get out your notes on your phone make a list of ideas of like what you want to do like if you like to do things outdoors make a list of like um you know say you like to ride a bike you like to do all that kind of stuff make a video of you uh playing one-on-one -on -one basketball with someone like uh you know make a video of you skateboarding showing people how to skateboard stuff like that but if you're like more like me where you like to give advice and explain things to people then definitely make make lists like i have a list of um i think at least 30 videos planned out on my laptop at home it's definitely good to plan out content because like i said for me i post videos on wednesday and saturday so i drop twice a week so it can get overwhelming so i need to keep track of what i'm doing because if i don't plan out content then um i'd have to just think off the top of my head and record something on tuesdays or on you know fridays or something like that you just gotta work smarter not harder so yeah that's definitely smarter to plan out your content whether it be a day in advance, weeks in advance, months in advance, plan out your content because it's going to help you in the long run. You're going to seem way more organized. Your subscribers are going to come flowing in because it's still going to be like, she keep the content coming. Like I see a lot of big YouTubers, they, um, you know, start making their money and then it's like, um, you know, they still want money. So they're still dropping, but just not as much. You also want to have content planned out because um, what I struggle with 
uh like i said i had this video already planned out and stuff days ago but i'm just now recording it and it's um monday night and i'm gonna have to edit it tomorrow which is tuesday and then have it uploaded by wednesday 3 30 so um i do definitely want to get better with having content already recorded um edited and uploaded to youtube and then just um you know when wednesday and saturday comes just click them from uh private or just schedule them like i normally just schedule them on the days at 3 30 so yeah i'm i should get better with that but just to help someone else who probably doesn't even think like that that's definitely a good way to not be behind and have your uh videos already mapped out and ready to go so yeah plan out your content whether with big or small plan out your content last thing for the do's and you guys i'm definitely going to make a separate video for the don'ts because look this i'm recording right now before i edit and it's already 36 minutes long so that's just not what we're gonna do because if i do the don'ts as well um this video is gonna be over an hour long and we're not gonna do that so yeah i'm definitely gonna make a separate video for don'ts and i'm gonna end it right here at this last do which is number so this last do is teach new things i don't mean get on youtube and you guys let's do multiplication nothing like that no that's not what i'm talking about when i say teach new things it's like i said um a, a few a few minutes ago um if you're the type to go outdoors uh, show your subscribers how you ride a skateboard if that's the kind of thing that you do, you know Teach them new tricks with your skateboard when you put out content That basically people are going to learn from They definitely like that kind of content people love content that they feel like they're gonna learn from it Even if it's just one thing new like how I'm uh, doing, you know 10 do 10 do's and 10 don'ts to you know get your channel better success if anybody out there watching this video knew everything except for one thing on this list and they took away that one thing, they think, you know what? I'm going to subscribe to her. Because I did not know that. You know, like, when, even, like I'm not just speaking for everyone. I'm thinking even me. When I watch videos and, um, you know, if it's like hacks or anything like that or if it's like tips to starting a successful channel. I've watched videos like that before and I really didn't learn anything new. Like that's why I said it was, uh, it took me a while to like get this list together because this is like my own experience, things like that. But um, definitely, like I said before, those are the kind of videos that tell you like, oh, don't you have to have a niche don't start a youtube channel without a niche like you need to do one thing and one thing only and to me that's that's crap you don't you don't so yeah definitely even if you just take one thing away from this video you know hopefully it's like okay i'm gonna subscribe to her because she really just she really be knowing some even though everybody on the ppp video tries to tell me i didn't know anything but those people didn't watch the video all the way through if you didn't see it go watch it but yeah try to even if it even if you're not like you know even if it's something that you're not just trying to even teach you know um review products the kind of video like this is what i'm doing right now um like i did the video how to do with negativity things like that try to teach something new like even if you're just saying um oh i have like right now i have a uh, two ring lights sitting in front of me and you're just like oh if you have one tweak to this setting and then have the other like i wish you guys could see it but i have the small ring light um just on like the white mode and then i have the big ring light all of the the um things are taken off and it has the one like copperish thing just sitting just one and i don't know that that it gives me good color like I don't know how to describe it to you guys but anyway just saying things like that someone would say let me go try that real fast and then if they try it and it works out for them those are the people that's like you know what i have to i gotta keep watching this person because they really just they inspire me to do something new or you know things like that so 
like you don't have to try to teach on purpose but if if there's something in your video that you feel is going to be helpful to someone don't leave it out make sure you put it in make sure you stress the importance around what you're saying and things like that because like i said teaching people something in your videos are is definitely a good way to help get subscribers and things like that because people definitely love to learn new things so yeah that is about it for this video i know i said i was gonna do both but i just couldn't do it to you guys i could and it's at 41 minutes no one wants to hear me talk for one hour so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here and get started on this don'ts list because we can't have one without the other these don'ts you you guys definitely need these don'ts because um like I said, these this is stuff that I went through, um, copyright claims, things like that. They're not fun. So I'm about to record for this don't video and I will drop that on a separate day. So yeah, definitely make sure you guys tune in to Rent That Spill just so you can catch all things new with me, you know, keep up with me, learn new things with me um like i say i like to get feedback in the comments that's why i always say on videos um the kind of things that you should comment down below just gives a little idea because i love getting feedback i love hearing people's opinions um negative ones i'll take them too i just overlook them like i don't mean just go comment something negative you know but um i definitely look at those as well so it's all constructive to me so yeah definitely make sure you guys comment down below give somebody else some new tips that you've learned um outside of this video give me some new tips like teach me something new as well so yeah comment down below let me know what helped you what you think would be helpful things like that and make sure you guys subscribe to rent that spill but while you're subscribing to rent that spill make sure you guys look down below and follow me on social medias and yeah, that's about it for this video.